Sixth grade, module two, lesson nine, problem set. Find each sum or difference. So remember, we're putting these in decimal form in our answer. So I'm gonna start with A, I'll start up here. So 381 and 1 tenth, I'm gonna write it in decimal form. 381 and 1 tenth minus 214 and 43 hundredths. Now since this 43 hundredths goes to the hundredths place, I'm going to add a zero to make that also go to the hundredths place so it's easier to subtract. So now we just can subtract. Oops. Try that again. Okay. 381 and 10 hundredths minus 214 and 43 hundredths. Can't, I'm going to bring the decimal point straight down. We can't do 0 minus 3. I'm going to borrow. 10 minus 3 is 7. Can't do 0 minus 4, so I'm going to borrow. 10 minus 4 is 6. Need to borrow again. 10 minus 4 is 6. 7 minus 1 is 6. And 3 minus 2 is 1. So we get 166 and 67 hundredths. Let's do B. 32 and 3 fourths minus 12 and a half. So for this, neither of them are in a tenths or hundredths form. But I see that 3 fourths and 1 half, I can make 1 half into 2 fourths. And then this is an easier problem to subtract with fractions, and then I'll only have one decimal to, or one fraction to turn into a decimal. So let's do 32 and 3 fourths minus. 12 and a half. I can line that up as a subtraction problem too. So remember, one half was two fourths, so three fourths minus two fourths is one fourth. Subtract, we get 20 and one fourth. But one fourth, I need, I need to make it out of 100 or out of 10. I can't, nothing times four equals 10, so I'm going to do one fourth into hundredths. So times 25, times 25, we get 25 hundredths. So it's 20 and 25 hundredths. Okay, let's do C right here. 517 and 37 fiftieths plus 312 and 3 hundredths. So 3 hundredths is already in hundredths. We need to change 37 fiftieths to hundredths. So times 2 times 2, 37 times 2, let's do that, 7 times 2 is 14, carry the 1, 2 times 3 is 6, plus 1 is 7, so 74 hundredths, which makes it 517 and 74 hundredths, plus 312 and 3 hundredths, so let's add those. Four plus three is, I multiplied them. Four plus three is seven. Seven plus zero is seven. I'll bring the decimal point down. Seven plus two is nine. One plus one is two. And five plus three is eight. So we get 829 and 77 hundredths. All right, D is 632. Let me write the problem because I might have to scroll over here. 632 and 16 25ths plus 32 and 3 tenths. Okay. So I can make 25, 16 25ths. I'm going to make that into hundredths so that I can write it as a fraction. So times 4, 16 times 4 is 64. So we have 632 and 64 hundredths plus 32 and 3 tenths. I can just write as 3 tenths. And since 64 hundredths goes to the hundredths place, I'm going to put a zero there to make that into the hundredths place. So now let's add them. Really important, make sure that you line up your place values. Because otherwise you'll be adding the wrong numbers and you'll for sure get the wrong answer. 
664 and 94 hundredths. And the last one, E. I'm just going to write the problem over here. So the problem is 421 and 3 fiftieths minus 212 and 9 tenths. Okay, so 3 fiftieths I'm going to make into hundredths times 2 times 2 would be 6 hundredths. So we have 421 and 6 hundredths minus 212 and 9 tenths. I'll make it 90 hundredths. So let's subtract. Six minus zero is six. Zero minus nine, we can't do. Ten minus nine is one. Bring down the decimal point. Ten minus two is eight. One minus one is zero, and four minus two is two. So 208 and 16 hundredths. Number two, use a calculator to find each sum or distance difference. Round your answer to the nearest hundredth. So three sevenths. The reason they chose these is because they're not easy to make them into tenths or hundredths, aside from 23 and 1 fifth. But let's start with A. So we have 422 and 3 sevenths. So I'm going to go to my calculator. We have 3 sevenths. So I'm going to do 3 divided by 7. And we get. A very very long decimal but I'm just gonna take the first three digits behind the decimal point so 428 thousandths so and 428 thousandths minus 367 now let's do it for five ninths clear that out 5 divided by 9 is equal to so basically just five repeating. So we're going to do 0.555 or 555 thousandths. Now I'm going to round to the nearest hundredth because it told me to. So round to the hundredths place. That would turn this into 422 and 43 hundredths minus 367. And there's the hundredths place. So this turns into 56 hundredths. Now let's subtract. We can't do 3 minus 6, so let's borrow. 13 minus 6 is 7. 3 minus 5, can't do that. 13 minus 5 is 8. Bring down the decimal point. We need to borrow again. 11 minus 7 is 4. Keep borrowing. 11 minus 6 is 5, and 3 minus 3 is 0. So we get 54 and 87 hundredths. And B. So 23 and 1 fifth. 1 fifth I can actually make into tenths. It's 2 tenths, so I'm going to change that to 23 and 2 tenths. Don't need to use the calculator plus 45, and I do need to do it for 7 eighths. 7 divided by 8 is equal to 875 thousandths. I need to round this to the nearest hundredths place. So we have 23, and I'm going to make it 20 hundredths plus 45 and 88 hundredths. The 5 is 5 or higher, so the 7 turns into an 8. If we add them, zero plus 8 is 8, 2 plus 8 is 10, bring down the decimal point, 1 plus 3 is 4, plus 5 is 9, 2 plus 4 is 6, so 69 and 8 hundredths.